Hello students, myself Suriraj, Faculty of Physics. Today we are going to discuss how to calculate the effective resistance in series combination and in parallel combination. Okay, so now we are going to find uh, the equations to find uh, the effective resistance of uh, series combination and uh, parallel combination. First of all, we have to consider series combination. So, let us consider two resistors R1 and R2. These resistors R1 and R2 are connected in series combination. So, now we are going to find what is the equation to find effective resistance of these two things R1 and R2. We know that uh, in series combination the current uh, remains the uh, same. Okay. So, in series combination the current remains same. According to Ohm's law you know that uh, I is equal to V by R or V is equal to I R. According to Ohm's law V is equal to I R. So, here in series combination the potential will be different. The voltage will be different across two resistors. That means here it should be taken as V1 and here it should, should be taken as V2. So, the total V is equal to V1 plus V2. So, V is equal to if V is IR, what will be V1? IR1 plus if V is IR, what will be V2? IR2 and what is V? V is IR. So, substitute for V that is IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2. So, we can cancel the common factor that is I, I and I can be cancelled. And the balance is R is equal to R1 plus R2. This is the effective resistance in series combination. So, when resistors are connected in series combination, the effective water potential difference between the resistance will be different. That means, here it is V1 and here it is V2. According to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR. And the total potential is given by V is equal to V1 plus V2. So, if V is IR, what will be V1? V1 will be IR1. And what will be V2? V2 will be IR2. So, V is equal to IR1 plus IR2. And what is V? V is IR. So, IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2. So, I, I, I cancelled and the balance is R is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay, now we want to discuss parallel combination. Consider that two resistors R1 and R2 are connected parallelly to a source. In parallel combination, voltage will be same, but the current will be different. In parallel combination, voltage potential difference will be same, but current will be different. So, here the current flowing is taken as I and at this point, I will split into two components. This is I1 and this is I2. Okay. Now, we know that according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. So, I is the total I is equal to I1 plus I2. The total I, I is equal to I1 plus I2. So, what is I? I is V by R. What is I1? V by R1. 
and what is i2 v by r2 v v v are cancelled and the balance is 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 this is the equation to find the effective resistance or total resistance in parallel combination so in parallel combination potential difference will be same but current will be different so the current flowing through r1 is i1 and through r2 is i2 so i is according to ohm's law i is equal to v by r and i is equal to i1 plus i2 i in the position of i i can give the value v by r for i1 v by r1 for i2 v by r2 the v's are cancelled then i obtain 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and a shortcut is there is a shortcut when we are cross multiplying this equation you obtain effective resistance is equal to r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this is the shortcut to find the effective resistance in parallel combination so now we have discussed the two different types of combinations the first one is called a series combination and the another one is called as parallel combination in series combination the effective resistance is given by r1 plus r2 but in parallel combination the effective resistance is given by 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and the shortcut is r is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 thank you see you in next class thank you